the largest and most powerful gigapress casting machine, capable of generating 9,000 tons of force, has been unveiled as Elon Musk's trump card for building his Tesla Cybertruck. The complete rear undercarriage frame of the Cybertruck will be forged in one enormous piece, thanks to this innovative idea from the Idra company. Tesla has already used this production process with the Model Y to great effect, but the big cyber vehicle gigacasting would take that to a whole new level. Hey everyone, and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. This video will cover the new Tesla Model Y that is now under the market. Tesla is taking orders for the new Tesla Model Y. Let's speak about this new machine, and also how Tesla will use the Gigapress's capacity to make their vehicle a reality. Let's start with the machine itself, before we get into what this implies for the Cybertruck. The Gigapress is essentially a massive die casting or injection molding machine. The word press derives from the principal machinery that pushes liquid aluminum alloy into a huge mold, where it cures into a Tesla car frame part. It's essentially the very same procedure that they are using to start making Power Wheels cars as well as fairly much any kind of toy. If you're a kid in the early 1990s, you've likely heard of the injection molding process toy like a creepy crawler or something where you pour some goo into a plastic mold and it popped out looking like a little rubber bug or a Terminator or whatever same deal just with full-size electric car bodies. During his Cyber Rodeo presentation at Giga Austin, the largest challenge was finding a supplier who would actually generate a casting machine just on scale of the Gigapress. This certainly makes the car easier to construct because we're dealing with one large solid lump rather than a slew of small components that are all stuck together. Elon Musk and Tesla have been researching on this concept for a long time. When we were trying to figure this out, there were six major casting manufacturers in the world. We called six, five said no, one said maybe. I was like, that sounds like a yes. So with a lot of effort and great ideas from the team, we've made the world's biggest casting machine work very efficiently to create and radically simplify the manufacturing of cars. The challenge was accepted by the Idro Group, an Italian manufacturer that operates under the parent firm IK Technology in Hong Kong. In an interview with the New York Times, Leo Song Song, the creator of LK Technology, discussed his development method. And according to you, Tesla spent almost a year developing this gigapress alongside IK and Idro. Liu even stated that Tesla will make changes to their concept, prompting IK and Idra to make changes as well. He went on to say that with each adjustment they made, they would occasionally ask if we could do this or that. We needed to make improvements to our equipment as well. LK Technology began by selling machines for creating toys, so this is essentially a very little process that has been scaled up to a very large process. Tesla is already employing this method in the Model Y to great advantage. Every Musk factory now has numerous gigapress machines that generate 6,000 tons of pressure to cast all front and rear halves of the Model Y underbody. Now, in a video posted by the firm, Idra has showcased their latest development, a 9,000 ton gigapress. We observed this gigapress machine being installed at Idra's site in Travagliato, Italy, where they're getting ready for an open house in early June with its 9,000 ton press. The appearance of this new machine naturally made everyone wonder if it, too, was designed for a Tesla Gigafactory. Is this really the Gigapress that will build Tesla's long-awaited Cybertruck? We won't have to wait for much, as Elon Musk responded to the rumors in less than a day, simply tweeting Cybertruck body in a tweet response to the Idra video. The Cybertruck's rear underbody would be served with a more stronger Gigapress, as we've known for several months. Based on suggestions at the time, Elon Musk indicated that a 6,000-ton Model Y machine would not be powerful enough to manufacture the casting to hold the truck bed for the Cybertruck's rear underbody. We expected an 8,000-ton Cybertruck press to be in the works last year, but we now know that the Cybertruck will be upgraded to 9,000 tons. The Cybertruck's design simplicity is possibly the most intriguing and crucial part of it. Because the exoskeleton's exterior shell is merely a large sheet of stainless steel bent into shape with no curves and only hard angles, it should be a fairly quick and reproducible procedure. They are taking something that would ordinarily be created up of several bits, all attached together, and replacing it with one solid chunk of stainless steel, following the same principle as the frame casting. The Cybertruck's battery pack will largely be the same structural pack design currently employed in the Giga Texas Model Y car, simply scaled up to match the energy needs of the considerably larger and more potent truck. 
Instead of employing numerous pieces that are all adhered together, as is customary, one solid piece of metal was used to create the object. It's only that the back component of the Cybertruck has clearly required some more engineering, and that makes great sense. The front piece of the Cybertruck frame will presumably be a casted section quite similar to the Model Y as well, and can probably be done using the same Gigapress. The back of the pickup is very different from the back of an SUV because the truck frame must stretch further while still maintaining its strength and rigidity without the benefit of a roof above it. In addition, the truck frame must be able to support the weight of whatever the truck owner decides to load into the back or tow behind the truck. Tesla is marketing the Cybertruck as a hardcore workhorse utility vehicle, so it needs to be tough enough to stand up under great pressure, otherwise no one will buy it. Tesla's ability to deliver on their promise to mass-produce this electric truck at an affordable price will depend on breakthroughs like the new Gigapress. We are aware that the Cybertruck has undergone numerous new design iterations since its 2019 introduction. Over the past year, we've seen all references to specifications, option packages, and pricing vanish from the Tesla website. The only information we've truly received is from Elon Musk's unauthorized Twitter tweets outlining the new modifications. As a response to the GM electric Hummer, rear-wheel steering was reportedly been added to the specification sheet. As a response to the Revivant R1T, we have seen three motors become four motors. According to reports, Cybertruck would use a new version for full self-driving hardware package with improved cameras and a computer. We know that if they had maintained all of the specifications, the price would have needed to be increased to account for inflation and material costs. Elon Musk has essentially stated that Tesla will be doing everything they can to make the vehicle a showcase for their cutting-edge technology. It will be extremely fascinating to see what the final cost of the Cybertruck turns out to be at this stage. Voting will help, so please do so. Nonetheless, we can at least find some solace in the fact that for every incredibly expensive component going into Cybertruck, a cost-saving technique is simultaneously being incorporated. A video demonstrating the Gigapress casting process, for instance, was supplied by Giga Berlin. When the Gigapress has opened to show the section, a giant robot arm simply picks it up and moves it to the subsequent station in the manufacturing line. Except for the guy in a fireproof suit poking liquid metal with a stick, it's a hands-off automation that simply operates all day, every day. Clearly, this improves efficiency and reduces cost. The process for creating these bodies will once more be quicker and more automated, and there won't even be paint involved. As we saw in the Giga Berlin video, to paint a car, the entire body must be carried down a line where it is dipped, dried, dunked, dried, and sprayed, followed by sanding, buffing, and inspection. With a Cybertruck, as long as it's black, you may have any color you want. There will be significant cost savings in other areas, such as the rechargeable batteries and cells, after the entire piece of the production process is eliminated. So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Also like, subscribe, and share our channel. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching.